So, uh, good morning. <coughs> Bit of a double whammy today. It's very exciting. Two very contrasting books. The first one is, oh, it's so big, you probably can't see it. There we go. It's When Dad Became Joan um, by Kath Lloyd. So this is really interesting, um, quite dramatic, non-fiction. And it's um, in two very distinct parts, which you can see by the colour, very clever use of colour. Um, and it's really uh, the story of, of Kath's um, early life when her father decides to, or feels compelled, to transgender. So her father, over a very long period, in sort of little ways at first, makes that move to have gender reassignment and to become uh, who they later decide to call Joan. And it's, I mean, in a very short amount of words, really, um, it's a very powerful story of how, just of how Kath dealt with that and the complexities of her life that that brought um, and how her family, her sort of wider family, um, managed to deal with it and how the sort of knock-on impact, I suppose, not just for her father and what on earth was she going to call him now, um, but also for her mum and how her mum was going to manage that because they stayed together. They had a, a, you know, a really strong relationship and a strong bond. But what do you call the person who's not your husband because it's a woman um, in a time when that's not the norm? Not that it's necessarily the norm now, but I think there's a much wider acceptance now. Um, and it's really interesting. It's very powerful. It's not distressing in any way, but you can feel the emotions that that must have been, and you there, and you can't help but obviously imagine, you know, what God goodness, what would I have done, you know, how would I have responded to my father becoming a woman? Um, so it's very powerful and and, and beautifully, um, beautifully written, um, and very brave, I think, to write about that sort of thing. Um, what's very interesting then is Kath has taken that experience and other things. Um, and um, moved into a sort of uh, interesting line of work around coaching and supporting people and she calls it making uh, um, your new normal how do you live your normal when there's change so uh, lots of change and this is interesting for me I didn't know this when I was um, asked to review the book because I used to work in change management and I used to do personal development and I used to help people with this so it was quite interesting for me so part two of the book the purple part um, is is more um, it's lovely to do this because I've got an actual paper copy so I can show you um, it has um, worksheets and help sheets and it takes you through uh, you know change and how we manage change how we move forward, how we deal with the past, all those sorts of things. It's really interesting, very helpful. Um, I'm not a, a fan of, of um, the law of attraction, it doesn't do much for me, so I did skip that a little bit. Um, but I came back because the conclusion's really interesting. And the conclusion just sort of brings us up to date with, with Kath and her family now, how, how they're managing now. Um, her parents did stay together. Her mother um, called Joan... Her partner which is rather lovely um and a, a modern word that we're totally cool with now um and kath now explains that it is her dad who had gender reassignment so it, it's nice to have that conclusion it kind of brings you up to date with how that family came through that situation but it's actually a very practical book um and uh you know i think having that nice balance of someone's own personal experience gives you that confidence that that they know somewhat of what they're talking about because they've experienced it themselves and the complexities of it so really interesting beautifully written um practical uh, and helpful as well so lots and lots of information in there um but not overwhelming not a really thick textbook sort of this is how you manage change um so definitely, definitely, definitely worth a look.